Today we're going to be talking about the cultural roots of the cross and what we call it again in our language is um, well basically it's bumping hips so it's more of a body type thing but um, I have to uh, we also call it the critters game Lacrosse was started by the Native American Indians and was originally known as stickball. The game was initially played in the St. Lawrence Valley area by the Algonquian tribe, and they were followed by other tribes in the eastern half of North America and around the western Great Lakes. And this was the beginning of lacrosse. The stickball game, this is the original. All there was was a stick, okay, and a knot of wood. Just a, a knot of a wooden ball, and basically, they just decided that's your goal, this is my goal. If I get the ball over there, I win. You get the ball over here, you win. And so basically it was just hitting it with a stick because the ultimate rule of lacrosse is you cannot touch the ball with your hand. Native Americans played lacrosse for many reasons. Some tribes used it to toughen up their young warriors, and other tribes would use it for religious reasons. The first recorded game was by Jesuit missionary Jean de Brebeuf in the 1630s, who is credited for giving it its current name, lacrosse. The growth of lacrosse began in 1834 when the Conagua Indians played a demonstration game for the people of Montreal, Canada. Because of this game, lacrosse began to spread throughout Canada. Dr. William George Beers founded the first lacrosse club called the Montreal Lacrosse Club in 1856 and within a decade had finalized rules that changed the way the ball and stick were made and the number of players that could be on the field at one time. After this the game spread throughout the world and was played in the 1904 and the 1908 Olympics and Canada won the gold medal both times. Lacrosse has not been in the Olympics since but has continued to grow in the United States. Today, lacrosse is one of the fastest growing sports in America, where there are many high school and college teams, as well as two professional leagues. Sports that more than 60,000 new players participated on organized teams in 2011. There are now just under 700,000 active lacrosse players in the United States, over half of these players under the age of 15. According to U.S. Lacrosse, the exposure of lacrosse is at an all-time high, mostly because of media exposure. In addition to national broadcasting companies, there are now many collegiate and professional games being broadcast on local networks. There are also an increasing number of pro and college games being broadcast live on the web as well. Meanwhile, websites such as InsideLacrosse.com, LacrossePlayground.com, and LaxAllStars.com are setting the tempo for the future of online content surrounding the growing sport. Other aspects that have given lacrosse exposure and growth are high school athletes finding lacrosse as a good off-season workout between sports such as football and hockey, and also were drawn towards the fast-paced game. Lacrosse is the fastest growing collegiate sport in America. Women's lacrosse has 416 teams with over 9,000 total athletes. Men's lacrosse has 319 teams with over 11,000 athletes. Lacrosse's future is bright. If lacrosse continues growing at its current rate of 10% per year, the sport could have 1 million players by the year 2016. The sky is the limit for this upcoming sport. Thank mm -hmm. you.